there's a completely redesigned patient car, and then a, a you know certain console which is actually pretty much the same structurally, and that's by design. So now we have is um, you know the, the, the biggest thing that you look at is the patient car. Is that it's actually a, a like boom, it's, almost, it's almost like a boom mounted system, but it has the um, the uh, flexibility to be mobile, so it can go from room to room if needed. So uh, what you'll see is the robot can be driven in the same same spot every single time, but it can be docked anywhere around the station. So the mobile, the boom can actually move and spin around. Um, you know, we've also, uh, I'll, I'll go into more detail, but the, the camera is actually as small as your laparoscopic camera, and the optics are actually on the tip of the endoscope. It's an eight, it's an eight. So what it enables, it enables you to port hop to any of the different ports during the procedure and get a different, different perspective and different angle. So now I'll have you guys all come to the back of the system. You know, the other thing you're going to notice is that it has, with the with the, the newer arms in the, in the patient cart, you're going to actually be able to have uh, multiple, multi -port, uh, port quadrant access with a single pop. So you're going to be able to work around the patient. I'll show you exactly how that works. So what we did is we selected, um, just, to, just for basic um, demonstration purposes, upper abdominal. We're driving it from the patient's right-hand side. So now what I have here is I can actually move the, move the car. It's about 600 pounds heavier than the prior system. And the reason is that the mobile uh, boom so that you know to create balance here. So now I can press both to press both buttons, push it forward. Now what you can see is there's actually a, a laser target. Laser, uh -huh. So it's gonna show you actually where you want to put your your um, your cannula, your initial target cannula, is where we're gonna yeah. we're gonna get the crosshairs. So when we drive it in, prior prior to driving in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy for docking. So I hold this button down here. And it's going to walk us, the voice activation is going to walk us actually through the entire process too of the steps that we need to do. Okay, so now we have, somebody can help me actually, I'm going to, I'm going to drive over this port here. So somebody actually can help me direct it towards this one right here. You want to do that? Okay, perfect. Get over the crosshairs now. Tell me when. There you go. Right there. How does that look? Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now we come over here, and as you can see, um, you know, I think that the the they're smaller, thinner arms, so it minimizes the ability to, you know, have those collisions that you have, say, a cold rectal procedure, you know, and, and having to refine the docking. So then you also have, uh, you have the ability to um, you know, you look at the, the docking is going to be a lot more streamlined. <laughs> so what you have here is then it gives a more forgiving look this one. So I can grab here, it's called a grab and move function. So what I can do is I can move it here. And I'm going to dock this arm right here. So now I'm going to hold it just like a remote center traditionally. I let go, and then I hold down this tab, and I press the core clutch button right here, and I dock that arm. So once it's docked, now install the endoscope. so it asks me to install the endoscope. And now this endoscope basically is like we said, it's a form factor the same as all the other all the other ports. So we can put it into any 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 port. So now what I do is I insert it in. Point the scope at the target anatomy, then press and hold the targeting button. So now I'll point it, let's say this pod down here is the target. So if I find that target, I have it there, then what I do is I stabilize the cannula. And I press this button on my scope, and it's going to move the arms so they're perfectly in place to, to die. Targeting complete. Connect the rest of the arms. So now I do just like grab here, grab and move, come down, and dock. Make sure that just like any traditional robotics, we're gonna make sure we're in the we're in the remote center there. Dock this arm, grab and move. As you can see, the docking can be extremely efficient. Make sure that I dock this one. So now the instruments are actually, um, the housing is going to be thinner 
and it's also two inches longer. So you have actually more reach than you've ever had before. And the, uh, the scope and the instruments of yesterday, they're all two inches longer. Yep, so you have a longer scope. Two inches longer than the, than the eight, the eight and a half, the eight and a half scope. So then I'm gonna put these instruments in, and then I'll go through another function, and then we'll go to the console. Now, for those of you that currently do robotics, we talk about driving in the the, uh, the patient car and, and having potentially not being able to clear the patient um, with the arms being in the way. So there's a called a, a patient clearance button here, which enables um, you to actually adjust the arms to move out of the way of the patient. Um, you also have the opposite of that, which is um, the robot traditionally hadn't worked well away from itself. Now what this does, when we make that adjustment, it allows the robot to actually work away from itself this way, like it, like it never has before. So it allows for, for obviously for more access within the patient. So now what we'll do is we'll demonstrate, we'll actually have Dr. Motherfucker on there. We'll have, um, you know, we'll, you'll be able to go to, to multiple quadrants within the patient with a single dot. Now obviously you also see that the, the ports are, are much closer. So um, it's a more forgiving port placement based on the, the structure of the system. So now, um, one more thing. I'll have you guys stand. Take on the patient part there. The other thing is, you can actually, from the surgeon console, you can actually push this to the 30 degree scope. So watch as I do it. You can actually push this to the 30 degree scope.